Okay, so let's apply our rules of arithmetic to algebra by adding rational expressions. So I see two fractions, I see the addition sign. So I start singing. Adding fractions, easy as can be, all I need is an LCD. So that's my phrase that tells me before I start doing anything, check to see that I have a least common denominator, that my denominators are the same. My denominator here is 2a, my denominator here is 2a, that's great, they're the same which means I can now proceed and do addition. To add, the rule is you write the denominator. It's not going to change sides when you add. So 2a and 2a stays 2a. The piece of the slice of the pie is going to stay the same. Okay? What you're really collecting is the numerators. So this says 3 plus 5. Well, we could do that in our head. What's 3 plus 5? That's 8. So now our fraction is 8 over 2a. But are we finished? No. This bar means to do division. I am connected by multiplication. 2a is connected by multiplication. It's a monomial, so I can do division. I know 8 and 2 divide and make a 4. The 4 is going to go in the numerator because that's where the bigger number is. The greatest common factor of 8 and 2 is 2. So you're saying 8 divided by 2 is 4. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now when you write your final answer, look closely. The 4 is in the numerator, 1a is in the denominator. Do we have to write 1a? No, we just write a. That answer, that sum is 4 over a, or 4 divided by a. If you write this as the sum, you're marked wrong. That says 4 times a, and that's not what we're saying here. Okay? All right, let's try one more a little bit more complicated. Don't get scared. Just think to yourself, I have two fractions and I see addition. So I start seeing. Adding fractions, easy as can be, all we need is an LCD. Are our denominators the same? 3x plus 6, 3x plus 6. Yes, our denominators are the same. We can proceed. So the rule says, write the bottom. Okay, I'm going to write the bottom. The denominator is going to stay 3x plus 6. Write the bottom, collect the top. Now, if this was me, I'm going to write it out. My numerator is x squared plus 4x, and I want to add to that 2 minus x. Okay, so I'm going to write it as one big fraction. Now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms in the numerator to add. From the beginning of this course, I can only add terms that are alike. So if I look closely, that's an x squared, that term. Do I have any other x squareds? No, so I have to leave that x squared. The next term is 4x. Do I have like terms? Sure, I have a negative x. What is 4x and a negative x? Well, I would subtract, because the signs are different, and I would get a positive 3x. The other term is a positive 2, my constant. I have no other constant, so I bring that down, positive 2, over 3x plus 6. So. I filed the song so far. Adding fractions easy as it can be, all you need is an LCD. Got it. Write the bottom. Did it. Collected the top. Did it. The last part of the song says reduce. Reduce means division. We got a problem, Houston. We cannot divide because we are not connected by multiplication. So again, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere in the directions did it say to factor. Nowhere. You've got to know that. You've got to know if I need to divide, then I need to rewrite as multiplication. That was the purpose of learning how to factor. So let's start in the numerator. Do I have a GCF? No, I do not. I have obviously one, two, three terms. I know that this is a trinomial, so I know I can write two sets of parentheses and factor it. The first term is x squared. It's easy. That's x times x. The last term is 2. Well, that's easy. The only thing that multiplies to 2, the only factors are 2, are 1 and 2. Will 1 and 2 add to 3? Sure will. If I add, my signs have got to be the same. Adding to a positive, they're both positive. So now I can replace my numerator with the factored form, which is x plus 1 times x plus 2. Now let's go to our denominator. 
Again, there's addition. This is not multiplication, so I need to factor. I have 3x plus 6. Well, I have a GCF here of 3, so I'm going to take out a 3, and that's going to leave me with x plus 2. Now that I've rewritten my fraction in factored form, I have like terms that are going to divide out. This binomial x plus 2 divides with this binomial x plus 2. Because they're the same, they make a 1. I don't need to write the 1. So I'm left with x plus 1 in the numerator over 3. And that is how we add algebraic fractions.